All right, we're back again. Um, <coughs> we, uh, we've just been kind of reviewing today. So today's session is going to be a little sh shorter in terms of recording. Uh, but um, uh, we're going to start here at the create a controlled form. And we're going to try to get through at least a couple of challenges today. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The last challenge showed that React can control the internal state for certain elements like input and text area, which makes them controlled components. This applies to other form elements as well, including the regular HTML form element. The MyForm component, as seen here, is set up with an empty form. Okay, so we've got input, submit, they're all empty, with a submit handler. The submit handler will be called when the form is submitted. All right, so it's got these handle change, handle submit, they're already bound. And it's got a handle change method with an event. The event is the target value. Okay, so it's going to be taking the input and the event yep. target value yeah yeah that helps to uh, um, update like the um uh, um as as like as as the um if it is updated the update value of the of the of the state of yeah. the input of the input uh, of the value of the state input so we're going to be working with this one in here to yeah, fill out this information yeah and then we're also going to be working in the form just add input element text and we'll assign some event handler to that. That's Answer. like the button that submits the form. So now you have to add an input. So what are you trying to do now is uh, um, yeah. yeah, let me read the rest of this. Yeah. Just so okay. we get an idea. I was just uh, looking over here, so okay. we kind of okay. have a trail of, like where we're going. So right now the button doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, I think I broke yeah. it. <laughs> It brought something else. I don't know what that is. It's loading that page again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a bug. Look at that. It did it again. This is recursion. This is recursion. <laughs> we can make a PR for this. This is recursion. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I can, it's a bug, oh. and we can fix it, and we can make a open a PR to this. I think they accept it, and we. Oh yeah. Yeah. That there's recursion on the submit before you do anything? No, but, no. but the code is not supposed to yeah. do anything yet. The code is, yeah. is not like, like, there's not an issue with the code now. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's a Don't crash. You're about to crash your uh, browser. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quit doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta kick out of that. All yeah, right, we figured out one bug in our record. Yeah, so now I can submit a, a PR for them. Yeah, we'll, and, let's uh, see. Uh, now I can add an open source free code camp <laughs> to my resume. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, let's get back to this. So we've added a button which submits the form. You can see it has the type set to submit. It is the button controlling the form. Uh, so where was that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Here, when we unsubmit. click the submit button, it will run that method. The type, yeah, it's talking about here though. The type is submit. Indicating Add the input element in the form. Okay, so it needs to be in the form. Yeah, right here, right here. Input. Uh, Input like and type specify the type of that input. Yeah, so just let you should this is normal uh, uh, normal uh, HTML. You should, you should know what to do. Just let them let them work yeah, on it. text and so yeah. it's the value. No need of, oh, okay. Access the this site. Ah. So go ahead. We are okay, so you have to, uh, there's, a, there's, an, there's an event, there's an event um, the, that is tied to the input. 
Uh -huh. so how do you how do you check check the event name? Go like go back um, to the top of the of the editor and check the event name and see what you need to do with it. Write the value, Elliot. I think you're doing right. I think I interrupted yeah. you. Yeah. So when when the input is changed, what what event what, what event is that called? The value should come from state here. Yeah, just check your state and see yes. the name of the variable. Is the, the name of the state is input? Yeah. This that state that input? Yeah. Yeah. So you are assigning the value of that to, to the input. So when the value of the of the input of the um, um, of the um, of the uh, input uh, this input tag changes, then the value of the state changes also. So then you have to assign a, 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 an event to it also. Elliot, once update the state value. I'll update, I'll update, the, update the, I'll update the um, state input. So add an event. When when like the event the event is unchanged. Okay, so unchanged. Modify the state value. No no no, you, it's, it's, it's an attribute also. It's an attribute mm -hmm. also. So just uh, do it after it. the yeah. after the it's value correct. after the value. Ella is correct. Don't touch it. Just scroll up to the, your state and modify your state. So you can, you can yeah. see there's an, there's an no, no. change. Scroll, scroll, go to your state. It's empty, right? Give it some value there. Input. Yeah. Just type some. Yeah, you can see that one in your input. Well, for, in for you to, for the thing to update from this thing, you have to still add the method. Like any of this, it's like the yeah, event and, and unchanged attributes. Yeah, you know, right. unchanged the, event the event handler uh, handles the, the changes from the front end, so. So. Yeah. Right, unchanged there and use that method, handle change. Like, spacing it out. Just check, observe that arm form, how they use it, right? The, okay, okay. how do you add? Okay, um, um, Elliot, how do you add an, an um, I need an, uh, um, um, how do I put this? How do you add an event? Uh, it's uh, equal, Elliot. Just check the form, line 20. It should be on change. Handle handle change. change. Yeah. A handle change is the value, but the, 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 the name of the, of the change, this thing is on change, like the name of the event. It's on uh, change. Okay. Because yeah, on change is an event like handler. On click. On no, change. Uh, you work here. Yeah, capital it's, it's like yeah. on click. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unchange. An event. And then it, handle. It no, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, just observe the line 24. There is not to be for events now. Elliot, just observe line 24. On submit, how they wrote there. Just write like that. Okay. Yeah, it's just been a while since I've used that. Yeah. And then you add the, the method. Uh, I'm out of practice on how to use that. Definitely, it takes time. Handle change? Yeah. So, that's done. Then, so you need to, what do you need to do to the input also? When the, if you, when the, uh, when the form is submitted, what, what function, have you, what, uh, what event do you want to trigger? When the button, the button, the button type, Submit is um, is clicked. What what event handle do you want? To submit. You should then complete the handle submit method so that it sets the component state property submit to the current so, input value in so the local you state. To, you need to add an event this thing to the button also. No no no, it's not not needed. Yeah okay, but wait, you can just add the event that you update the method at the top. No, don't touch it. It is. Uh, you must call event dot prevent default in the submit handler. Yeah, go to the handle submit event handler. Not here. Yeah, this method. Okay. So first, write that the event dot pre prevent the default default um, um, form. The default way of a form is to submit to uh, the um, action. So you want to prevent that, so you walk, you be able to like walk on the data of the 
of the foam. Yeah, yes, so that, uh, yeah that's it. It's correct. To prevent the default forms. Yeah. So well, now you are trying to you're using that to uh, um, okay. Hey, let just write set state method and update the submit property. For this. Yeah, in the app. This yeah. line, I need to do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After that, prevent default. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. No, no. That should be Keep first. The, yeah, uh, so yeah, you want that should be first, so it would um, prevent the default uh, way of behavior yeah, first. After that, that write the set state method. Yeah. This set state. Uh, And we need to so update that the that's the component the properties submit to her input value in the local state. Yeah. The property is submit. So we should update the submit in our state. It's like it's a, it's blank up here. Yeah. So then yeah. yeah, the submit, yeah. So you can you use the, the method to update to the, the uh, input value in the state, in the local yeah, state. Yeah, use it, yeah, use it to update the state. The submit colon state. access the input value state value there. That's the submit colon access the input from state. So you use the event. So no, no, the event. They ask you to access from state property from state. I think. No, state is already empty now. Okay, what where are they? Why we are accessing this? Wait, wait, wait. I mean, this dot state dot input. It shouldn't access, be this. Yeah. No, no, no. Access input value from your state. How we access values from state? Okay, I'll access the input value from yes. the state. Dot state. Yeah. Dot input. Yeah. Dot value. No need of value. We are accessing no, no, no. our state. Yeah. Yeah. I say the input. Okay, the yeah. input already is as a value. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. So and now you have to add the method to no, the bot. It says this part. Bot. Uh, create h1 tag. Yeah, you have to create an h1 tag. Which renders sub in value from state value from the component state. You can then type in the form and click the button. So you know what to do now. Okay, so it's within the div. So if we just do h1. Yeah. So what what value are you passing into the h1? As in the value h1 is taking. And it's submit. to access submit. Access the submit. Access the submit. This that copy this. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this that state state dot subject. No, it's the state now. So yeah, okay, you're right. That's the state. I gotta remember to use this because it's going this state submit. Okay. One day I'm gonna get it. Again, you're doing same. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Do you know how to access uh, the values, like the, the values yeah. or attributes within the method? It won't work because you haven't attached uh, the method and like, to, the button, to the submit when you click. So it won't update the H1. Just you have to undo the undo. You know, there's an undo submit method. Undo submit method um, so you have to add a, an event handler, like an event, this thing here. You bought, you I bought it, here. You bought no, just click submit. We'll test it and they can come back to our code. It's yeah, it's working. Why is it working? It. Oh, why is it working again? Because we mentioned on submit okay. on form. On the form. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. We and have submit. on submit on form. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Submit so when the submit is submits to that to that method. This that handle submit. Yeah. There is a event handler called on submit. When you submit form, it will call that method. Boom. Get at me, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just like to have fun with it. All right. Okay, do you understand what you just did? Like, the, the, the um, we have on change and on submit event handlers. We're updating two state values. I think I didn't understand this. No, let, let, let your, uh, you, your on change means if you type something, it's changing that value. So. When that changes, it will call that handle change. So it will update that input value in state. 
Yeah, I don't think I understood this very well. That okay. Is, yeah, change means you change okay. something in the input. Yeah, yeah. Um, just give yeah. um, 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 Elliot, um, yeah. go to MDN and check for um, event handlers. Yeah, I need to up my game on event handlers. I don't know them very yeah, well. Just go, go, to, go to MDN. Yeah. Right, school is easy, I think. You can just go to um, event, MDN event I, I like handlers. I like MDN. Have you guys done this before? Where you go to MDN and then you do that? You tab? I don't I will. Oh, so you are searching within with, MDN. Within the ad, address bar, you can... No, no. Yeah, wow. Show me again. Wow. <laughs> you can do, like, since I have, I've gone to MDN.io, and okay. then I click tab. Okay. Now I'm searching within the address bar itself. So in, it uh, wow, wow, that's cool, though. <laughs> and then... Um, Let's like check say, event, 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 event. Yeah. So I'm searching within MDN directly from the address bar. Wow. Uh, that's actually really cool, though. Yeah, I learned that um, like a month ago, and I'm just like used to that. I think you should stay at Google, like do Google directly, so it should be easier for you. Use Google, right? Just write MDN event. Just write MDN event. I mean, I'm already here. Anchin, yeah, even Anchin, just like type. Java. Uh, no net. Change. MDN is Java. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yes, go ahead. It will face, I think. That's giving me too much. Uh, remove that JavaScript. You know, like, uh, more, more of these um, um, search bots are not really as efficient as Google. Event yeah. reference. Okay, event yeah. reference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but... yeah, you can see that here. You can see the event and last. The network keyboard. Oh, you have no way to use them and all of that. These are socket events. We are dealing with that keyboard or mouse events. For yeah, farm events, event. submit, yeah, we just use that. Submit that is socket. Composition, view events, clipboard events, keyboard events. Yeah, key no, key. Okay, so here we go. Click. Yeah. Uh, mouse down. You can see all of this one. These are events that you can add to your. I think farm event something. So like when that particular event is when that particular action is is Check. done, it triggers the uh, the the method you are you attach to the event. Hmm. Okay. Notification on click. On change, I think we are searching for on change. Yeah, I think you're right. On change. Form events, I think. Change. Selection change. Push. I will swear wait. that. Wait. Really, this way is just a waste of time. Just use Google directly. Like, just write um, um, MDN event on change. Let me check this. This might be better. Elliot, just double three schools. Oh, I think this is answer. Yeah. Read that line and we can play with the sum. Specs change. You open it correctly. That is the we are prefixing on, but the event is changed. Target that yeah. on change. Yeah, that is the event we are looking for. The on change property. Yes, change yeah, events. Right. Change events fires when the user commits a value change to a form control. Means yeah. when you change something in input bars, that event will fire. If you type or back remove anything, you, if you change something in input, it, that event will fire. Yeah. And did you understand what is that event we are using as a parameter in our function? Uh, the event is a parameter in our function. 
yeah there is we mentioned some event in our function the scroll up go to our method there is event handle submit event handle change event is there yeah yeah event is the param yeah. you know that uh, that's come from the on change event handle. yeah that e event comes from the change event the automatic that is a default behavior whenever we call that event handlers it will pass that event to that calling method once uh, come back to our mdn we will see on code pen and log that or else you can log that here also log even inside that handle change after that state later uh, no no we are doing it uh, outside that state set state yeah console.log even see what is even yeah i think is it works logging here in our react setup mm, maybe not when we that happens when we it's not popping up here fire a handle change right we need to write something in the input then only it will fire oh, that i think i misspelled this no 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 wait that method will be fired when we change something in input box right on change so write something in inputs then the okay. method will yeah um yo okay so it's saying yeah. it's an object yeah there right so even dot and target now. yeah in console yeah. every character is an object. yeah when you change no no not that character we are talking event event is an object here and something is changed yeah when that change it logging yeah now come back to our console and event dot target right event dot target let's see what is that event dot target yeah now let's make some changes there. so it's an html input element it has lot of properties in it we are accessing value property from there from that element yeah, if you type value you get the return a c yeah yeah okay the change event handler fires when you change something in the form input element means when you type or some remove some string there yeah okay and submit is when you click on submit or click on enter when you hit enter the submit event handler will be fired when you submit form that handle submit will fire it calls that handle submit method because we have on submit event handler on our form okay okay i think that makes more sense for me now just scroll down and see how we are using handlers we have on submit so we are saying that when user submit the form call this handle submit okay yeah which would be this uh handle submit we wrote that handle submit target value yeah yeah so it would be extending this yeah so it calls that method when submit even happens for the form on submit yeah. and then it's sending it just call the handle submit we have handle submit in our code above right it moves the control to handle submit method scroll up you can see handle submit method in our code we yeah here handle submit at line 17 when okay. user submit form prevent it calls this method uh, prevent default is it preventing it the it re from yeah reloading that resubmit re reloading page okay. but this on yeah. submit we are setting the state this state that input yeah we are updating the submit value in state with that input value when user hit submit we are updating the submit in our state and coming to this input on change means when some change happen in our input box we are calling handle change so it will 
retrieve that value from that event and update the input in our state. So because this is the but the button is type yeah. submit. Yeah, that's it, why it's firing on something. It goes to unsubmit from the form. Yeah. Yes. And then the form sends it to the form will call that method on submit method. We have on submit yeah. method. Because we st we stored we're storing submit inside of the state. Yeah, we're getting that value here. Okay. And we're just calling it by JavaScript to our H1. Yeah, it's JSX. By the, by the object of JSX, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the this. Yeah, this dot star dot. So that hit enter, you can go. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, think that helped, I think that helped to go through it slowly. Yeah. That and hay is coming from submit. Totally dissect it. Event or prevent default prevents the yeah, default yeah, behavior of form. Hey here. Yeah. H A G A G Y. And yes. every change. Yeah, it's plugging there. Even the uh, deletion, it sees the deletion. Yeah. Uh, deletion is also like change. Mm -hmm. You got some beautiful birds in the background, whoever that was. Yeah. Uh, they're getting that sounds. Is that yeah, from, it's from, from... It's from my end. It's morning oh, wow. already. It's morning already, seven o'clock, seven, past seven year already. Do you know which birds those are? I don't, I don't, I don't. You hear that every morning? Yeah, most, yeah. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. We have birds, but they don't sound like that. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was cool. Uh, I like that. That was fun. Now you understand the event and all Much of that. better. Much better. Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, you did a good job. Maybe not everything, but uh, yeah, it improves better. your understanding gradually. It's, it's, you can work okay. on it yourself again. You can try to like look into event handlers again and come back to yeah to like control or uh, input. Yeah. At least next time when you try it, it makes some sense. Okay, what's happening there? Yeah, I just have to use. You have to use some of the event handlers and see what it does yeah. and all of that. So you, when, that, you think... them, when you need them, you obviously know what which one to choose. For this, I think we should practice event handlers first in JavaScript so that we can use freely here in React. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I, guess, yeah. I guess we haven't gotten to that. Is that part of ES6? Yeah. No, no, it's a default. It's available from the older oh, versions yeah. also. I think we will try it in our evening class once we will see how what's event handlers and all those things. This for quickly. Okay. Hmm. We will play with that. Yeah, I, I just haven't dealt with that very much. But yeah, I will. I will show what is the event handler and everything. In the yeah. in some okay. Shall we go through this one? Uh, move on to the next challenge and pause. State as prop to child components. We are taking state from some component and passing it as prop to other component. I showed it somewhere other day to you. Okay. Just prop equal to this dot state dot value so the state value will be passed as prop to some other component basically we are doing prop equal to camper word instead in the previous challenge we you wrote something like some okay prop yeah, equal yeah. to camper word right in place of camper word we use we access state value yeah in place of camper word we write curly braces this dot state dot some value mm -hmm. We are passing state value to the prop. So the component will access that state value as a prop. In, a, in place of camper board, we are using state data to pass. Okay. Uh, just read, it, read that. Uh, and yeah, I'll read it. Yeah. I think it's simple. You have yeah. one state and you have some component. Just pass that state as a prop to the next component. We have now passed that 
camper board state data to nav bar in line 11. Okay, let me read this real quick. Yeah, go ahead. You saw a lot of examples that pass props to child JSX elements and, and child React components in previous challenges. You may be wondering where those props come from. A common pattern is to have a stateful component containing the state important to your app that then renders child component. You want these components to have access to some pieces of the state which are passed in as props. For example, maybe you have an app component that renders a nav bar among other components in your app. You have state that contains a lot of user information, but the nav bar only needs access to the user's username so it can display it. You pass that piece of state to the nav bar component as a prop. This pattern illustrates some important paradigms in React. The first is unidirectional data flow. State flows in one direction down the tree of your application's component, from the stateful parent component to child components. The child components only receive the state data they need. The second is that complex stateful apps can be broken down into just a few or maybe a single stateful component. The rest of your components simply receive state from the parents as props and render a UI from that state. It begins to create a separation where state management is handled in one part of code and UI rendering in another. This principle of separating state logic from UI logic is one of React's key principles. When it's used correctly, it makes the design of complex stateful applications much easier to manage. The MyApp component is stateful and renders a nav bar. All right. So it's stateful. There's a yeah. camera bot. And it's going to render a nav bar component as a child. So pass the name property in its state down to the child component then show the name in the h1 okay and then now a component i think you can and do it h1 tag that's part of the nav bar render yeah first pass the state and render that in props okay your code here. So we need to say how we would pass props in general. This dot. Yeah. State. Before that, yeah, go ahead. Dot name. Yeah, that's fine. But before that, we should give some name to it, right? To access prop name. Name equals before the curly brace. In fact, yeah, uh, name. Right. Okay. name equals equals. Ah, that's good. Now go to the nav bar and so now it is available in your props. Access your props to print that name here. Ah, come on. Use backspace actually. Okay, now. Uh, remove that code, print that name from your props here. How we access props? Yeah. Prop, prop. It's not state. We should just say props. Oh, because props is the constructor. Okay, it's the constructor uh, param. Props dot name. Yeah. Got it. Because we pass that camper bot in the from the parent component as a prop to now bot. This is state, but we pass that state data to now bar as a prop. 
yeah. If you update the state, it will update the shell component. All right, I'm a coding dude. All right. <laughs> All right. Nice. Pass a callback as props. Callback means passing some method. We are passing only some values. To uh, okay. No. I, I was sharing. I was sharing my mentor the other week. He's doing a lot of callbacks. I didn't understand what a callback was. Yeah. Callback is nothing but a method. We are passing some method which will be called back from somewhere. Okay. I want to do this one. Yeah, just read it and we'll. <coughs> Hold on. Let me let me step over and get my water heated up. One sec. Okay. Two seconds. Is DK back? He's there, but I think I haven't heard from him. He said he's gonna take 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. He's still, he's still. All right. You can pass state as props to child components, but you're not limited to passing data. You can also pass handler functions or any method that's defined on a React component to a child component. This is how you allow child components to interact with their parent components. You pass methods to a child just like a regular prop. It's assigned a name and you have access to that method name under this.props in the child component. Is that DK? You back? No, that's from you. Okay, you just sent me a Wikipedia. All right, there are three components outlined in the code editor. Okay, so we've got my app, and we've got get input, and we've got render input. Okay, so it's going to give us the H1, H3, and it's going to give us the input, and Let's see what this one was. This one's going to be my app. And the change. Okay, input value. Okay, so we got to create some kind of input form here. Probably. Because we don't have any of that. Yeah. We're going to need to create some input. Okay, all right. The my app component is the parent that will render the get input and render input child component. Add the get input component to the render method in my app. Okay. Get input. Then pass it a prop called input assigned to input value from my app state. Okay, input equals This dot state dot input value. Also create a prop called handle change. Okay. 
and pass the input handler handle change to it. Pass the input handler. Okay, so I need to say the input and comp. Okay, we have three components here. Be before that, I shared one link earlier. Just read it. What's callback except okay? handle change? Also create a prop. Elif. Yes. I just shared a link in chat. Just read what's callback. Meanwhile, I'll read that chat. <coughs> My Zoom st stop. Working suddenly, so I rejoined the session. I haven't read that challenge. Oh, okay. I'll go through it. Meanwhile, just read what exactly called that in programming. Oh, okay. Callback is just like a function passed as an argument to some other function, something. Some passed as an argument. Okay. I think we use it in our JavaScript issue. Practice some array methods or something. Array dot filter or some. We pass some method function inside that. Some anonymous function. Right? I will show that code. Just type array dot filter and Quotes somewhere. W3 quotes. Earlier, just search for array dot filter method. I will show what's exactly callback in there. In JavaScript, array dot filter. Within where? Just in the browser, search for array dot filter method in JavaScript. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll get that as JavaScript one. Yeah. yeah, just open some any link. We'll get some example. Yeah, open that link for us. Uh, open W three schools. I think it will look cleaner, simpler. Yeah. Scroll down to that example. If you observe here. We are passing check adult. Check adult is a function. It's a callback. We can write that function directly here itself also in, inside that parentheses. Then we it's a function. We are passing function as an argument to that filter method. So that okay. check adult is a callback. So the age is yeah. greater than or equal to 18. Yeah. yeah. Just click on try to yourself and we can so it would filter it. out 16. Yeah, yeah. Return greater than or equal to 18, I think. So it will get the 32, 33, and 40. 
right? This check adult is a function. We are passing it as a parameter to filter method. So we are passing function as an argument. So that check adult is called back. It will be called back after calling that filter method. Hmm. You can run that code also by if you click on the try to have you tried this W3 schools before? Yeah, I have. Okay. You can yeah, if you click that try it, you can run the code with it here. You can simply cut that function check out completely and you can place it inside that filter in place of check order. I'll share it on the chart mm -hmm. or else write the code I will explain how to oh the um, okay leave it understood that the callback uh, the callback is just a function passed as an argument to some other function okay. hello guys right so because uh, you declare you yeah it's a function. a function here. Yeah, and filter is also like a function. Have another function. Which yeah, is they come back, back to filter. Yeah, filter is because a function also. You declared it before. Yeah. You can then call it back here. Yeah. Yes. So that's a callback. Yes. Uh, okay. But it, why? Why? Uh, the Okay, filter but, is also but uh, uh, if you're gonna use it explicitly as a callback, then you would you would name it callback. No, no, uh, we can Ooh. name it also. Like we can without name, we can write that like function directly. One, they named it callback yeah. function. Yeah, we can name it also anyway. No, you don't have to name it callback too for you to. You do don't it. have to, but uh, if if you're gonna use it that way, then it's we uh, can use without naming also. We can write within yeah. that. But to, I guess, in writing like clean code, I will, like understandable, readable code, you could, you would want to call it callback. Yeah. To like I will, help I will yourself that. out when you're reading your code later so that you remember that this is a callback function yeah. or a callback for a certain purpose. I will share that code. In, I'm writing some code snippet in chat. I will share that in. We can use it in some different way also. Do you still have this open? No, I think. For the live session? I will open that link wait. better. Just create okay. your own live session. I lost that, I think. Yeah, the, the live session ended. Um, yeah, I lost the link also. I rejoined the Zoom chat, so. Okay. okay I'll get Okay, I'm gonna go live again. And then I'm gonna, share this. I'm gonna share the link in the chat. Yeah. I join join this live session and we can all be on the same chat or on the same uh, live session. Okay. Yeah, I see uh, DK is in. Yeah, you joined, okay. Think you left it? Yeah, I'm just uh, refreshing. Okay. Are you still in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Yeah. You're typing at the bottom? Yes. Okay. I'm just typing the code snippet something. Okay. Let's go some time. I think. 
as it is in react it may give some error but i'm just typing it to show how we can use without name oh because this is pure javascript yeah we can here you can write the function directly without calling the previously defined function you can write the code here i think something like h greater than calls i'm going to refresh uh make sure you say from my side can yeah, I, I, I think you are refreshing so it Take oh, it's saying you, you can, that you can edit. Yeah. Did you lose the work you had? Yeah. Uh, no, no. It's still there. Okay. Is it reflecting on your side? No, it's not reflecting. I was trying to get it to reflect. Okay. I think we should see for that something. How to save it? Is it, is it not a live? Yeah. It's live. Yeah. Control S is working to save. Okay, so you just saved. Yeah. I'm going to refresh again. Surely I don't have to refresh every time. I don't think I can simply open some. Okay, I see now. Yeah. The array filter function age, if age. Okay, so you just put the code snippet in. Yeah. It's like we are using without any name. It's called an anonymous function. Yeah, it's saying error, but yeah. This is our, this function is called callback because calling after calling the filter method. It's not that complicated. Just you will understand once you keep using in your code. Uh -huh. Just like passing function as an argument to some other function. That's it. We are passing function as an argument. This filter is also a function. So the functions in object we call methods. So it's a method. Mm -hmm. Method is same as function. We are passing another function as a parameter to this method. So this is callback. Okay. It's just, a, it's just a nested function. Yeah, like that kind of. It's a parameter. Imagine we are passing some parameter. The parameter is function here. That's it. Go ahead and we'll do that challenge. I'll clear this. I think we are getting late. Hey, do one of you guys mind handling this one? I've got a. Uh... I need to put my daughter back to sleep real quick. Okay. DK, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'm here. Okay. So you are from which country, man? Uh, wait, I think what you said. What did you say? Oh, you are from country. From which country? Oh, okay. Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. I'm from India. Oh, I, I figured from the accent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, same to you. So what do you do? Like, do you, I, do you walk or like, what do you do? Yeah, actually, I'm learning React and I recently got an internship opportunity. Oh, entrepreneurship? Yeah, internship. It's like oh, internship. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay. You, okay so you are not a student. You're a student. Yeah. You not, okay. Well, um, what course are you studying? Okay. So are you working? I think I said. What did you say? Uh, are you doing any job or learning? Java. Are you doing job or learning? Or I'm, I'm just you? at the moment. I just um I just finished. I just got my BS degree. So uh okay. I'm just I'm learning. I'm just trying to learn like just learn like the real skills like for like time being. Then now the other things I'm planning on. So just hopefully by God's grace, like, everything will go as planned. And we'll okay. see what, what happens next. But at the moment, I'm just learning, and I'm trying to like take out freelance jobs also. So just like keep the lights on top. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So apart from JavaScript, like do you, uh, what other language are you proficient, are you proficient at? Hmm? Apart from JavaScript, like what other language do you use? I think I'm learning React only. JavaScript, React only, right now. Yeah, apart from like the entire JavaScript and JavaScript, um, like, um, um, I, I learned some PHP. PHP. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but you're more of a React, uh, more of a JavaScript guy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm in between JavaScript and Python, so. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to like um 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 like increase my proficiency at all of them at both of them like um at the core. At the um, simultaneous rate, because I do JavaScript for three days a week, I do Python for four days a week. So, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, because if you try to like say, let me work on Python for this month and go back to Python next, uh, go back to JavaScript next month, you have to like try to like you have to like um, revise on other things again. That's a waste of time. So why do you just work on both of them simultaneously? Yeah, that's good. You, have, you can just, you can just at least even if, even if develop, development on each one is a bit slower than you just working on one for like a straight ten, straight two, three months. But at least you're working, you're, you're growing consistently on both both ground at a consistent rate. So you have to like go back and forth and revising and all of that again. That's why I try to like uh, maintain that even even if it's a bit slower than like you working on one language at a go. But okay. I prefer it this way. I met another guy from Nigeria. His name is something like Henry. He is also learning React actively. Uh, oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Is he on um, Discord? Is he on? Uh, yeah. he's on, on Discord, the... but he's not on our W three DevOps. He's on our, some other server. If oh, you, oh, okay, okay. If you okay. want to meet, I will help to meet him. Hey, no problem. I've yeah. I've met other Indian guys on on um, on this platform and even on Twitter on different social media. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's on my, I have personal Discord server. He's on my personal Discord server. If you want, I will share the link. You can meet him there. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'll show my portfolio. Just look at it and give some feedback on it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I, mean, I think. Are you doing any challenge right now? Um, no, I'm just working on um, projects, and I think I have a project that I'll be working on. Um, like we're planning, like me and my friends, we are okay. planning to like work on and all. So just going back and forth on things. Yeah, I'm working on an e-commerce um, web app. Um, with um, Django framework, Python, and okay. some JavaScript and all of that. So, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Here I have built some portfolios. Oh, 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 wow, yes, the color is actually nice. Like, I think I, I like the way you uh, highlighted like your name and like the front end. This thing that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I just can you, some... can you can you scroll down? Yeah, I'll scroll down. This is a. Uh, Projects. Okay, my, my recent works. Take a look at some of my personal learning projects. 
um, Pundurum. Pomodoro timer. Pomodoro these are timer. free code camp projects. This is. Uh, okay. okay, 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 okay. Random um, code machine. Look how it up. Nice, nice, nice. Are, are, are this, um, this thing for JavaScript? Um, stopwatch, funny memory game, the documentation yeah. page. Yeah. And here is some skills and about me section. Okay, where do you host your, uh, what do you use in hosting your uh, platform? Do you use in hosting your website? GitHub pages. I'm using GitHub pages. We can host static sites using GitHub. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's true, that's true. But like your domain name is um, different. Yeah. yeah. I think Elliot helped me to get that domain. I get some oh, domain. Okay, from... you, just, you just changed the DHS or what? Yeah, yeah. I use some domain to change the. Uh, Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Because I, I used um, uh, Django for my backend, for my, for my portfolio. So I didn't, I, I couldn't host it with um, GitHub. So I, to, I hosted it with um, Roku. Okay. Uh, it is on GitHub pages, but I got some domain name for uh, in an, uh, some one month, one year for free. Elliot shared this link. I just got this domain from that. Okay, just let me. Yeah. This domain is for one year. It is free for one year. After that, we has to pay. Oh, the domain name. Yeah. Wow. I can. Can you share me so I can use it for some other things I'm trying to do? At least for the first year, we will like the budget will be overboard. I, I, I think it always... expired, DK. Ah, I think. Uh, oh, are you you back? Yeah, I'm back. Oh, I think it expired. Okay. The that dot co. But still, oh, you get some other. You can search for may find something to get some yeah. free domains. Yeah, if I ever yeah. find something, I'll try to. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah, I, I posted on Twitter. Uh, yeah, it was I think two months back. I think so. Yeah, wow. at the beginning, at the I, beginning I, of I, March. I, uh, how did I miss that? Oh shit! <laughs> it's okay. I've been mean, about a few domains and so. Oh shit! Okay, no problem. I bought like I got like three of them. Wow, you're so lucky. Because <laughs> I was just like three different uh, email addresses. Okay, get, that's cool. Uh, to get three domains. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's cool. That's cool. Anyway, if you have any um, or alpha, like if you just um, let me know, please. Yeah, and so, I what, think what? that offer like expired already. Yeah, you know, if you have any new one, if you have any new one, uh, yeah, uh, yeah I'll, I'll be sure to. Uh, um, you can try searching on Google. You may find something to. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. want to. Uh, yeah, follow like a tech star startup weekend. Oh, on Twitter. Yeah, a meetup. I think yeah. it's a meetup. Something yeah, tech like tech stars. They're they're on Twitter. Okay, let me but, check. Uh, can you spell it? Can you spell the handle? So I would... Tech. Stars, one word. Okay, tech. <coughs> stars is an S D A R S, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can share my screen about them. Okay, share. Okay, do share. Uh, one sec. But yeah, you, you should follow them. Uh, sorry, it's taking a while to load. Let's see what it says. I'm already following them, so it should pop up a few of them. Uh, okay. I don't know if they have would have this in Africa. It might just be a US thing. But this is them at yeah, Techstars. Okay, okay, I'm already on your page. Thank you. Yeah, and then, okay, the text that's um, Startup Weekend, no? Yeah, at Startup Weekend, you 
You could go to Ad Startup Weekend. Yeah, I'm following Startup Weekend also. Ad Startup Weekend is another one that's same thing. Um, te- like Techstars is, uh, I think it's a company that was supported by Google. Okay. And basically they are an incubator for innovation. Okay. So there's several companies that have been like birthed out of uh, Techstars Startup Weekend and uh, Google Startups. You could also follow Google Startups. Okay. Um, Google for Startups. That's the organization that supports Techstars. But uh, yeah, so like for the weekend, what we did was uh, we created this uh, Life Cloud Vault dot co. So we just like threw up a WordPress site in less than forty eight hours. But uh, we created this product from concept. And it's actually a functional product in terms of like just storing information. But see, there's me in the picture. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. And then uh, we like created the idea of the company and, and then you'll see a picture of me in here somewhere when it pops up. But these are my teammates at the Techstar Startup Weekend. Uh, people pitch ideas and then you just like agree to like uh, join their team. And so I knew these developers, so I just avoid, I joined their team because I knew them. And uh, I didn't care what the idea was. I just wanted to work with them really. Okay, okay. But, um, Anyway, these people were cool. Uh, all, all people had different backgrounds and stuff, so it was a cool experience. If you ever get a chance to do something like that, I'd highly recommend doing it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I didn't realize how long this was. Man, that was really lengthy. Did we double it? <laughs> I <didn't realize> that. <laughs> This shit is long. Oh, I think every, I think it's it's uh, everything is like everything is on one page. I think it repeated. Yeah, every 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 everything is on one page. Like everything is on one page. I think that's why it's so long. Yeah, but I everything think, is on one I think page. It doubled. Everything is on one page. Yeah, but it was on uh, March third, and then yeah. <laughs> That's a four or four. That's funny. <laughs> so it doesn't exist. So, yeah, we just like slapped that together. <laughs> we, we created this logo. Okay. Like oh, everything, okay. everything about this we created. Wow. On the on like, in less than forty eight hours. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I I really do I I don't know I don't really fast I is that, work work but is good but I don't I don't know I don't like using it I don't know why I just I don't rather rather code it myself than use WordPress. Yeah, I mean, we just did it because I mean we didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. We just started with the theme and then yeah, I understand. But uh, and we weren't planning to like continue with that long term you know okay, okay it was just to get something going you know yeah i, I, I get but anyway so what Shrikant, I do? are you still there i think he must have um Shrikant, are you still there i think it should be like 10 o'clock or so in um, india now it should be about 10 10 10 a.m what's that I think it should be about 10 a.m. or so in India now, so 10 or 11 a.m. It's about 11 a.m. It's 12.15 to me. 12.15? Wow. Yeah. 
Are you, are you starting your new job today? I think I will start from first. That oh, next. May 1st. Okay. Yeah. So what time will you have to uh, end? To I think it has to work? be in 11, I think. Today. 11, your time? Yeah. So you start, that's about... You start working that's the, late. That's the, that's the 10 minutes from now. Okay. So you just wouldn't be able to go past... Two o'clock my time. Yeah. But you still need time to get ready, right? Yeah. So by the, for that, I need to get start from 10 to ready and leave. Okay. Yeah. And they said know. once everything is online, we can, you can work from home also. They are for that one. Oh, good. Yeah. Dang, that's nice, man. But I was going to say, you should keep applying to places. Yeah. Because they might, uh, I don't know. Like if, if you're able to get a better offer somewhere else, like better pay yeah. Yeah, after, after like a month or two, like, you know, at least bring it to them and then say, Hey, look, I got this other offer. I'm considering it. But if you make me a full-time developer for your company and pay me what they're offering me, then um, I don't know. It's worth a shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Like, uh, keep applying. Like, I've heard of a lot of people making mistake of they just stop applying after <laughs> they get the internship. And then it uh, just doesn't work out for them. They get, like, taken advantage of during the internship and it just it goes bad. But. Um, yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking to tell you that earlier when you were talking yeah. about the internship, but, uh, I didn't want to like rain on your parade, you know, like <laughs> it's like, uh, it should be a happy day. Yes. I definitely I'll continue this. I'll keep on working my projects and push myself. Yeah. 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 And, um, there was something else I was thinking about. Yeah, just like with your portfolio page, like keep uh, keep updating it and yeah. um, like stretching yourself and your projects and stuff because uh, there's something else that I was mentioning. Uh, just yeah, I I, don't know, I can't remember it, but anyway, maybe it'll come to me later. <laughs> But anyhow, let's look at this. Um, I'm trying to remember where I was now. So yeah, try to add it. Yeah. So now we're also create a prop called handle change and pass the input handler and change, change to it. Let's do it. Then we'll move on to next. So yeah, yeah, how, yeah. Handle change. This, this. Because we are in class, we should use this. And you say this. Yeah, that's good. That handle change. Oh, I did it twice though. Okay. Because and handle change is here. Yeah. It's a bound on an event. Okay. Then. Next, add render input to the render method in my app. Pause input then value. From create state a two. prop called input. Pass the input value from state. <laughs> DK. <laughs> Hey, what's, up? <laughs> what's going on over there, bro? <laughs> I think he Wait, oh, I muted you guys, sorry. <laughs> what was going on? Yeah, um, I was watching a video on my phone, so it's just uh, oh, okay. that did me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch um, Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Oh. Do you guys watch it? 
I do. I'm, I'm actually. I'm, I'm already set to watch the uh, the new episode that, uh, that that came out yesterday. <laughs> so I watch. Uh, that was like when I when we were done with the, uh, yeah. the class. That I, 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 like, when I, I was, uh, I'll, when I'll, I'll get that. something to it. I'll get something to it. Then I watch the video. <coughs> and that's what be, then come back to code again. Okay. When I was shadowing the uh, the guys at the apparel company. Okay. They were uh, <laughs> they were getting really hyped up about it. So they had like a, a Deadpool, like they were gonna guess who was gonna die in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was so, so fucked funny. up. Yeah, that that was, was funny, yeah. man. <laughs> the movies are getting really nice though. So that like that, that's funny. like one of the one of the few um um, um like series I I follow. Um um that and um, Blackish. Those are like the two series I follow. Oh really? Apart from yeah. that, I don't have time for like to yeah. follow um, seasonal movies. I don't. I don't really have time for that. Yeah. Apart from um, Goat and um, Once Blackish. I had kids, I just don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> you have a lot of things you want to. Yes. I mean, I like TV, but it's just like. Yeah, you have time for it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I think I I chose sports like. I watch. Yeah, I'm actually a sport guy also, but like those are the things I do like to relax when I'm like when I want to relax. Either I watch a um, a football game or I watch a movie. Like apart from that, I don't really do anything else. To have. And apart from music, which is a more general thing, football and um and movies. Those are the two things I do to relax and try to like um, get more time out of this thing. So yeah, I just decided that. Um... What do you want to do? Do you have a company named Brenda? Yeah. Oh, there's a render input component. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where I needed to put that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's an okay. issue. You can, you can um, um, Elliot. Okay, okay. Yeah. And do, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, what are you trying to do now? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to do this part. Um, yeah. Okay. Then then next, add where I put my app. Good. Then create the pop right. called input. So, just passing in here, good. Passing input and passing the input value. So, you passing the input value. Yeah, one sec. Which, which I think is it not the state? Yeah, state right. from state. So just, yes. just, just pass here. You just pass in red state. Yeah, you pass it in very good. Good. Okay. okay. So what the, what do you have to do? Once, once you, uh, once you um are finished, you will be able to type. Okay, ty try to type in and see what happens. Type into the input of the text box. Okay. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I think they did, did this on the React.js example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I had rendered here. The first example, I think, in the documentation. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. I don't know. That's but but you don't have to, you don't have to, okay. Type on yeah. that. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, once you're finished, you will be able to type in the input field and the git input component. Yeah, like we said, when then calls the handler method. And it's parent via props. This updates the input in the state of the parent, which is passed as props to both children. Observe how the data flows between the components and how the single source of truth remains the state of the parent component. Admittedly, this example is a bit contrived, but should serve to illustrate how data and callbacks can be passed between React components. Okay. Yeah, and then it's amazing that nothing else needs to be updated on the page except this one component is updated by this component. Mm. Yeah. Here the callback is this dot handle change. Yeah. Yeah, that is the problem. In the line 18. Yeah, this uh, here in line 18, we are passing the method to sale component, right? This dot handle change. We are passing that method to get input uh, here, component. Yeah. Yeah. So that method will be called from get input component we are passing it to get input component 
down in the child components we have two more components right in the below get input go to the get input component here yeah. yeah. here if you see we are handle this taking time. that method from props yeah. this dot props dot handle change that handle change method coming from that parent components here yeah the my app is the yeah parent yeah and from there we pass that method as prop to get input this information goes to the this get input in the app yeah and then render input accesses this state that input value from the my app yes so basically just notice the the object the goes here and then it goes down to this other child yeah we are rendering that get input but once go oh, to the man. get input component dang that's pretty dope man if you see we are passing handle change property to get input so it's not going directly yeah it's not going directly from the the render the the yeah. component to this component it's going child to parent it. parent yeah. to child yeah, yeah it's it's called workflow or something in react like i wanted to like confirm the name if i speak it's called workflow yeah, that's i think that's what they used here yeah i think it's, it's called workflow so you pass in the state to another to another passing the state as props to another to, to the to the child component then using it within child component as a property a lot of that yeah it's it's called <clears throat> Yeah, I, th I thought they used the word, that wording, but maybe they didn't. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, you yeah. can just pass in states. Here, I've done that line 37. The unchange, yeah. That was the event handler. Yeah, you should notice that also. Okay, can you try to, like, um, 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 try to relate to everything from, from the parent class to the child class? Try to explain, like, to explain how... Explain it. Yeah, so you have okay. to start from the parent class. You have to start from the parent class. You know that is passing in um, stores from the. Yes, this is the parent. No, I don't think that's the parent class. Go check every check which yeah, one. This is definitely the parent class. My app oh. is the is the parent. Okay. Okay. Good. Because so, this is where this dot state is. Everything is here. Input value is blank here at the beginning. Okay. Okay. But yeah. try to confirm though. Okay, this is the R state. Is that so, R state? Uh, I think that's parent. So okay, okay. It. okay, okay, then that, that's it's, parent. It's so, parent, yeah. Okay, so try to explain the whole thing. And okay. So, from the class declaration and down. From the class keyword. So this is my app, it's the parent. Uh, it's uh, it's React yeah. component. It inherits from React or component. Okay, go on. Yeah, extend. Yeah. That's what extend. Oh, yeah, in areas from that particular the class that, that, that comes after it. <coughs> yeah, it is. it's um. Okay, that's the construction constructed here with props and uh, the object is uh, initiated here and um, its uh, set state is that it has a prop of input value that is blank. And then we've set up the uh, the binding of it, which I don't I don't know that I really understand bind that well. Let me see. It's just it's just a way for you to like uh, um, like um, trigger 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 a function with an event with a particular event. So it's, it's just a way for you to call call the function. So the, the 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 button or like the text the text you'll be able to like trigger that particular uh, um, 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 attribute of the of the component. You understand what I said? Yeah, kind of. Um, hey, let me let me rephrase myself. Okay. Um, the binding is just. A... <laughs> okay. Um, screen can can go ahead. Yeah. Basically, bind is from JavaScript. It's not related to React. It's a JavaScript method. Yeah. Okay, go on. I will just... Apart from the bind, we have our two more methods, call and apply. 
I will share it on here. Chart. Bind creates a new function that we have. I will sharing that table lines on the chart here. You can read it on the chart. Okay. Bind creates Bind. a new function that will have this set to the first parameter passed to bind. Here's an example that shows how to use bind to pass a member method around that as the correct to this. I'm passing that example also, pasting that example also. I think the binding is just a way to um, attach. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't attaching. know how to explain. I, am not, I don't know how to explain like the function, but, but I have an idea about. What, but I don't have. I don't know. Like okay. 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 When, you, come, when okay. you bind it, it creates a new function with the context of this is bind to the past one. It means we are creating a method with a this value is binded with some class context. Okay, what you do is it binds the um, this to undo change. Yeah. Then you assign this to this the undo change. I think. I As in, yeah. It's a bit confusing to understand the bind. It's when we use bind, it will create a new method with the different context of this. So we can use that one function in different contexts. Okay, so also if you print and this dot undo change, okay. okay, can we print out the uh, this dot undo dot bind this and see what happens? So we we'll see what we print. Can you console log that? Here, like try to console. Oh, I don't know. It won't trigger it, but try. Uh, I want to. I, I want to like see what out what comes out like in the terminal for this dot undo change. So I will know. I'm just sharing some YouTube link. Watch it on. I'm sure it's going to show an error though. Okay, it's, okay, good. Return. No, there's nothing will trigger that where you where you assign it. Nothing will trigger that. You have to put it put it within the function or something. What? Oh yeah. Uh, just go go on go on go on. They are doing inside class. <laughs> this is going to, this is train on error already. So, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> just wait. Just log the comment out that uh, Elliot, I will show, show you. Just go scroll up. Just comment out the bind binding. Comment the binding. Completely, complete line. Just select the line and uh, comment out it. They are selecting that last arrow, that curly brace also. Remove the comment for that curly brace. Yeah. Now just log the this inside the handle change. Log this. This value. Console log console dot log this inside that handle change method. No, 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 not like that, man. Here in after line 15, right? Console dot log and this inside the handle change method means in the inside the body of the handle change. Oh, uh, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't. So inside here. Uh, that is a set state. Uh, come out of that. Outside the two. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. Console dot log this here if it, without binding that this refers to something else if you bind it that this value refers to the class yeah just if you make some changes i think it works we are, we are doing handle change right is there a but why we are not getting any Text box on right side. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's just too much code, too much console log. It's not showing any error also. 
Yeah, I don't know. You can add the console within your JSX. Just put them within uh, a coily braces. This is Java. You're going to like um, work with Java. Good Monday morning. <laughs> I am MPJ. This guy is funny. This guy is funny. This video is a. That's not long. But yeah. yeah. You can watch it on later. I'll watch it. Yeah. Let me. Uh, let me like it and uh, come back. To okay. It. Okay. I haven't even opened it. Thank God. Fun, fun. I will explain this uh, this concept in JavaScript. I think we are getting late. Just go ahead. Yeah. And it has to sleep, I think, you know. Yeah, we'll have to sleep. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? Handle change is not defined. What should I do now? Inside that console, uh, remove that line completely, yeah. Okay. Uh, now just log the... Now I'm coming this line 17. Let's see. Line 17. That was the error I think we Oh, okay. But there is no there is a console to see again. Okay. Uh, just type something in the input box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This but this is object that uh, refers to something the class, I think, if we bind it. State. And this state that. without binding, it refers to something else. If you don't bind the handle change to class, but this returns something. I can get that also. No. Okay. So I gave us that. And next change is updating the previous value. Okay. So because it's bound it's it's able to access the object from the, the concept is a bit different i will explain it in the next class i think we need to practice out of react i think we need to practice in yeah. javascript yeah i think you're right bullseye all right well okay so we are done for the we are done for today right yeah let's let's finish up because this yeah. is uh, this is gonna be it's actually like, get, like getting unfavorably OT already this is a really important uh, this part yes. yeah, yeah we need to like take time to work on this so we can work on it tomorrow oh more on the uh yeah, just we don't need to like this is, this is really, we need to like talk about the binding so we can work on that so we can so we can start yeah this, I think it'd be just, good to like uh, take a step back and review what we did the day yeah, before. So, so we can do that tomorrow, and then and yeah. then move forward with what we yeah with the um, components because with, um, with, with life cycle methods. Even like when we were going over stuff with Andrew, it was helpful for me to like review and remember what I had gone through already. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll review that band tomorrow, and we'll start with this life cycle methods. Yeah. Anyway, Nesfin and others didn't do it, so yeah. they'll get a chance to do it too. Yeah, it's better to stop here, I think. Okay. Yes, I think today's was a long session, I think. Yeah, we did the jump out today. But uh, it was good. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, if you've uh, watched this far, you are uh, automatically gold star status in the w3 develops community so give yourself a high five but uh uh any anyway uh we're gonna end today but uh happy coding to everybody